Ayo, 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 ayo. Cross Beats Production. What's going on? You're here with Nate28, and this is Cross Beats Production. So I want to show you guys this free plugin. It just came out today or last night, one of those two. And it's Ozone's Imager, and it's just a single band imager, but it's the, you know, the imager that you guys would come to expect from Ozone, you know, the mastering plugins and um, just Ozone 7654, all the ones that came with this imager. Um, they've improved it over the time, and this is Ozone 7's, basically it's a single band version of it, and it's got the stereoize function and the width. So basically stereoize just creates a stereo uh, image of a mono you know, if you're playing a mono instrument, you can actually make that into a stereo sounding kind of instrument by using that stereoize function. And the width, obviously, as it says, it adjusts the width of that in the uh, spectral side of things. So this is pretty cool that you guys can get this for free. Um, I was kind of annoyed, <laughs> annoyed and happy at the same time because I had already bought Ozone ages ago and um, I mainly bought it because I liked the sound of the imager. Um, you know, obviously this is a single band version of it, so it doesn't cover, you know, multi-band like the original one did in Ozone um, 7 with it, this version of it, at least. Anyway, I'll just show you what that guy is, what this looks like anyway. Um, so it's a multi-band version of it here in Ozone 7 um, and Ozone 6 as well. They have it, the same thing. Um, so um, pretty much, like I said, it's a really fantastic sounding imager. So for free, it's great. Go out and download it. I'll have the link in the description below. Um, obviously, you have to register as a product because it's just like any other product they sell. They have the registration and you put the code in and all that sort of stuff. But otherwise, let me just play this on a mix and I'll show you what I've done with this particular Rhodes Keys on this specific mix. And um, I'll just show you how it creates the width in the Rhodes and it makes every other instrument I've got in this mix sit right. So, um, you know, for example, the drums, they're mainly in mono these drums and what I've done in the the width of the roads is put it wide and it makes the drums actually sound in a good spot too. So without further ado, let's play it without and then let's play it with it and I'll just show you the uh, the imaging as it goes. Roads keys, let's go. Okay, that sounds awesome. I mean, in my opinion, obviously you can do different stuff. I'm going to play it in the mix in just a second, but I want to explain to you a couple of things first. So this meter on the side here, if you haven't ever used this as a stereoizer or a stereo tool or imager, um, you know, this, this meter here is pretty much what you want to pay attention to apart from this, you know, vectoral scope there. Uh, but the, the plus one basically means it's mono, almost pretty much exactly mono. Um, anywhere below that would pretty much mean that it's slightly uh, wider and anything below the zero, so zero on this meter here would mean it's starting to become out of phase. So minus one means it's completely out of phase and it's pr pretty much going to be along the sides there. So you'll, you'll probably be able to hear it if you don't kind of know what that sounds like, um, pay attention to your meters. But, you know, if, you're done, if you've done this for a little bit, you kind of know what out of phase sounds like. I do at least anyway. Um, and I kind of rely on the meters as well to tell me, but as long as I'm above the zero, it's kind of safe. It really does depend though on the other instruments that are in your mix. So the wider you're spreading one instrument, if there's other instruments that are in that space as well, you're going to start to have clashing and that's something you want to try and avoid. You want to have each, each instrument in its own space or its own pocket within the mix. So just think of it like a box. You're filling the box with goods. Um, the box can only hold so much in one area until it starts to explode. So obviously that's the same deal with your mix. You have a lot of stuff in mono, for example, your kick and your bass and stuff like that. Um, and that's gonna take the energy in the mono area, especially in the low end side of things. And then you're gonna have certain things you wanna put, you know, left, right, panning and all that sort of stuff as well. So if you're panning things in your instrument, um, spatial area, then just be aware of this as well when you're, when you're making things wider. So without further ado, let's play it in the full mix and see what a difference it makes. So I'll play it without and then again with.
right, cool. I think you guys get the gist. Like I said, go play with this, download it, and it's free, so why the heck not? Um, obviously, this has got three different functions of metering as well, so you can see the difference between the two and that one there. Um, but I usually use polarized sample or polar sample or polar level. Um, either one is fine, but you can kind of see a lot what's what's going on with this uh, this style of metering. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to hit that like button and also please subscribe to the channel because it does help me out. And um, once again, I thank you guys for tuning in and staying into the end of this video. Peace out.